It's me, Badger. And I've got a fantastic story for you today. You want to hear it? You do? Terrific! The Fox and the Crab. Okay, Shapes, over to you. Once there was a beautiful red fox. who loved to run along the beach to see her friends, seagull and starfish. Oh, look at Red Fox. She is so big and so fast. You forgot to mention that I'm all so fabulous. You are so fabulous! <laughs> Just then, a little crab arrived on the scene. Hi! Do you want to play in the water with me? You want me to jump in the water? And get my gorgeous fur all wet? Absolutely not! And why should I play with someone as little as you? Well, I'm very clever. But I'm very big. And fabulous. Yes, and fabulous. Being big doesn't matter. If you're clever, you can do anything. Oh, really? Well, let's see how fast you can run. The red fox pointed to a big rock a long way down the beach. We'll race to that rock and back here. If I win, you have to say that I'm fabulous. Okay, but if I win, you have to play in the water with me. So, the little crab accepted red fox's challenge to race. Red Fox, you can take a one-step head start. That way I won't beat you so badly. Sure, this is gonna be fun. Red Fox couldn't believe that the little crab wanted to give her a head start, but she did as he asked. On your mark, get set. Go! Did you see that? The crab grabbed Red Fox's tail. I wonder why he's still behind Red Fox. And as she ran, Red Fox had no idea that the little crab was on her tail. Red Fox thought she heard the little crab, but she couldn't see him anywhere. And no matter how fast Red Fox ran, the little crab held on. Whoa! That sounds like that little crab, but there's no way he can keep up with me. But the little crab was keeping up with her. Red Fox ran as fast as she could to the finish line. Now, out of breath, Red Fox stopped just before she crossed the finish line. Wah! I knew that little crap couldn't keep up with me. But, Red Fox, th that little 
Uncle Crab really is clever. He may be clever, but I'm about to win the race. Red Fox was surprised to see that the clever little crab had already won the race. I win! How did a little guy like you beat someone big like me? By grabbing onto your fabulous tail and letting you carry me to the finish line. Hmm, you really are a clever crab. Yeah. Let's hear it for the clever crab! Yeah. Woohoo! That's right. And now it's time for you to play. Mm, you mean? Yes, you have to play in the water with me. So Crab led everyone into the water, including Red Fox. Hey, you were right. This is fun. So Red Fox decided that she would never look down on little guys again. Because when you use your wits to be clever, it doesn't matter how small you are. It's time for me to go. So until the next time, stay in shape.